and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you this text masking effect. So it's a combination of a couple of effects. Let's just start right here with the original, you'll find that via description link below. I use the type tool, left click on my canvas, then Ctrl A to select it all and I size it up. We make it white. That way you can see it properly on this original background. Now I want to line it, so use the line tool, left click on it, and then horizontal and vertical line. But I think in this case, I want to drag it a little bit downwards. I hold control when I do, so that it stays in the horizontal axis. Then right click on your text layer, alpha to selection. Add a new layer like this, so it has to be transparent. I've named it stroke, it's on top, and I'm on this layer, then I go to edit, stroke selection, I use stroke line right here, so make sure that you've got that checked, and I want to have it white, so I'm going to switch these colors, so that white is my foreground color, and I use 50 pixels. By clicking on stroke, I'll confirm, and that's good for my canvas size, I go to select and none. If I have my text layer active, you won't really see the stroke, but that's fine. Right click on it, add a layer mask, make sure that it's fully white. And now it's important that you stay on the layer mask. So not on the layer itself, it must be the layer mask. I use the paintbrush tool, you can adjust the size over here with the slider. And I want to paint black on it. So once again I'm on a layer mask, and if I left click and go over it, you can see the effect. So it makes it transparent and you can add multiple effects with this mask now. If you want to recreate what I've done for the thumbnail of this video, let me press Ctrl Z here until I've arrived at a fully white layer mask for this text layer. And now I find the spots where we've got these buildings. I use the selection tool right here. For example, the rectangle selection tool right here. Just left click and then go over it. And afterwards, use your paintbrush. It's still black and I paint on it. Couple of tips. Let me go to select none and I zoom in. And you can see right here, the border wasn't perfect. So when you place your selection, always make sure that you have it in line with the lines in the original image, in this case the buildings. So this would be a better line. Another tip is, you have to have it in line with the letters. So in this case I've added a stroke and this might cause some issues here and there. So you always want to check that as well. So once again, I use the selection tool, go over it then afterwards with a black fill color. And here you can see on the P letter that the stroke 
causes a little bit of an issue. So you want to adjust your selection according to the stroke as well. Like this. So watch out for these little details in your design, your text and the original image. But if you do, the results look interesting. And this is how you can create this text masking effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.